After being a hairstylist for 22 years and a certified personal trainer for eight years, I decided to return to school to embark on a career in nursing. Upon receiving my nursing degree and passing the RN exam, I began work on a medical unit. My plan was to complete the two-year requirement for acute care experience and then apply to become a nurse practitioner. Life was full of promise, and then it wasn't. It's aggressive. It's probably already metastasized. I think my surgeon was as shocked as I was when he read the report to me. All of the seven lymph nodes removed tested positive for cancer. I knew in that moment that my life would change. The next two years were a whirlwind of chemotherapy, radiation treatment, doctor appointments, diagnostic tests, blood work, and rehab appointments. Life was an emotional roller coaster, and I was surprised that after finishing active cancer treatment, I had mixed feelings. Relief and gratitude, the treatment was over, was mixed with feelings of fear and uncertainty about my future. My treatments and trips to the cancer center had been my security blanket, and I felt comfort in the fact that I was actually fighting this battle. With treatment finished, I needed something to help take my focus off the negative thoughts that occupied my mind since the diagnosis. I became a volunteer with the Canadian Cancer Society as a hair piece stylist for women experiencing hair loss during treatment. The hair pieces are provided free of charge and my experience as a stylist enables me to fit and tweak each one to better suit the person. I hadn't been volunteering as a stylist for long when I was out at a function one evening and spotted a lady who I had recently fitted with a hair piece. She looked radiant as she socialized and danced the night away. Only the people who knew her story would know she had a hair piece on. We made eye contact and both smiled. Her secret was safe with me. As a cancer patient, I was continually encouraged to maintain a positive attitude. As any cancer patient will probably tell you, this can seem impossible at times. Following my experience, I now describe myself as realistically optimistic. While it was never my choice to have cancer, it is my choice to move forward with gratitude and purpose. Undeniably, some days this is a struggle, but with faith in a higher power, along with support from family and friends, I manage.